Today, we'll be seeing the differences between Swift and React Native. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. So, from time to time, I get this question, what's the difference between language X and language Y? And today, we'll be discussing uh, Swift and React Native. And that answer actually depends on what you're trying to achieve. Because, for instance, if you need to target only one platform and that platform is iOS, then Swift is probably the best way to go. But if you have to target multiple platforms like iOS and Android, then React Native is probably the best way to go. Uh, when you use a native language like Swift, you got all the benefits of staying inside the platform. So all new resources, all new methods, all new APIs uh, are immediately available from the manufacturer in the time they are uh, released. So when you get a native app for iOS written in Swift, it probably uses the most resources and is very consistent uh, among, among different versions of that language. So a app created in Swift uh, a few, a few months back and one created just recently has most of the same controls and most of the same behaviors and animations. So it's very, very consistent. On the other hand, when you try to uh, deploy to multiple uh, platforms, it's much easier to produce the code only once and then compile for the platform that, that you're delivering at that time. That has the uh, uh, added benefit of producing just one code that you run on multiple platforms that saves a lot of time. But on the other hand, new APIs, new uh, methods and new uh, resources in general take a little more time to be uh, incorporated in those SDKs, so it can take a little more time for that to, achieve, to be delivered to the language that you're using, in this case, React Native. So if you need the latest and greatest every single time, as fast as you can, and you're only targeting only one platform, in this case, iOS, Swift is the way to go. If you're targeting multiple platforms and can wait a little bit until you get all the latest and greatest news uh, released by the manufacturer, then probably React Native is a better way to go. So if you found this video helpful, please, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. Also, share this video with a friend and they can too can learn something. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have questions or suggestions, please leave it on the comments down below. We will happily answer every single question we have. See you soon. Bye-bye.